Hello my friends and welcome, let's speak about the results of the NATO summit for Ukraine. From what we see, there is no invitation for Ukraine in the future to join the NATO alliance. So the countries didn't agree on that. Today President Biden said that we expect Ukraine to join NATO after the war is over, but by that time probably he wouldn't be a president, who knows. And the other White House administration may think differently, so there is no robust decision taken for the Ukrainian membership. What the Ukrainian side expected that countries would agree on some sort of the detail of how this war may finish for the Ukrainian side at least. For example, taking all of that territory back, should it be counted as the end of the war? Probably not. Maybe that is the issue for this some sort of the not good decision for Ukrainian perspective. Because even if we take the ground back, Russia may still use the long-range rockets, the cruise missiles to target the Ukrainian territory. In that case, they may target new NATO members, so NATO should be involved in the new war. I think that it was the main cause for some of the countries not to sign this long-term agreement for Ukraine to join the NATO. However, the vast majority of the countries say that Ukraine will be the future NATO member. I think that is possible after the Russian regime changed, so the full war, full-scale war should be over, Russia should be formatted, and in that case Ukraine should join the NATO alliance as soon as possible. And actually NATO also needs Ukraine, because Ukraine has the very experienced army right now and it's the biggest war that is happening since the World War II. But the NATO summit wasn't really useless for my country. Before we go to the good news, let me tell you about the partner and the sponsor of my channel, the Atlas VPN. They still have the awesome deal that was especially created for my followers, where you can get the Atlas VPN Premium for just 170 per month plus 6 months for free. It is the best offer on the market right now for the premium VPN services. Also, Atlas VPN grants me the full access to any kind of the series on the Netflix streaming platform. So I don't care about the government restrictions any longer. And sometimes I check the enemy side social media and for that I also use the Atlas VPN. You can basically change your virtual location to any point in the world. And Atlas VPN is so fast that you will never feel the difference whether it's on or off. But I do recommend it to keep it on all the time. And now my friends, please check out my personal link in the video description just below where you may get the Atlas VPN Premium with astonishing discount for just 170 per month Plus, you will get 6 months for free. This deal will not continue forever, so hurry up to join the club. Alright, the positive thing from the NATO summit is that Ukraine will get more help. I mean the military support. There were tons of the contracts signed of the new weaponry delivered to Ukraine. By the way, yesterday I said that Germany will deliver two of the Patriot systems. No, I was wrong. They will deliver two of the launchers. The systems consist of the many tracks and launchers are just a couple of tracks that they will deliver. The good thing that we'll have many more artillery shells from the European countries too. It is very critical, we need the artillery to propel the counteroffensive operation mostly on the south. President Joe Biden said that they will continue to help Ukraine as long as it takes. Also, he confirmed the information about the possible attack missiles delivery to Ukrainian army. I think that after all they will be supplied, but Biden again said that the more importance for Ukraine is the artillery shells. Plus, they, the G7 countries agreed to provide the long-term security commitments for Ukraine. So those are not guarantees, but they committed to support Ukraine throughout this war. There are three aspects of that support. First of all, the military equipment. Secondary, the training of the army personnel of Ukrainian army. And the third one, providing the intelligence information for Ukraine. Basically, we have everything of that working nowadays. Norway has decided to supply more air defense systems, NASAMs, to Ukrainian army. We need them a lot because according to the intelligence information, Russia is planning the mass attacks during the autumn and winter time, so it could be like last year. Then the Ukrainians 
had to spend lots of the time without electricity and under the rocket attacks performed by aggressive state the Russian Federation. Okay, now let's go to other news. Russia has built the new military ship. It's called the Cyclone. It's brand new and started its operation today. It was built in a Kerch ship factory. For the first time in 25 years, the Kerch factory was able to build something. Again, this ship was just put on the water and we are not speaking about the full operation of this unit. They need to perform the test, they need to tune the equipment, it will take many months. Why does the ship is kind of tricky for the Ukrainian side? Because it may carry the caliber rockets, the cruise missiles that may target the Ukrainian infrastructure, but the most important thing that Russia has over there are the air defense systems. That is more a problem, I would say, they may put the ship elsewhere were in the Black Sea and use it against the Ukrainian airplanes or the drones. But the history shows that the air defense systems didn't help to the Moskva ship that was drowned by the Ukrainian-made Neptune rockets. And now Ukraine has the anti-ship Harpoon missiles that are also very effective. About the situation on the front lines, Russia tried today to advance from Aleshki towards the Antonovsky bridge to start a fight against the Ukrainian soldiers who successfully landed on the other shore. So Russia even used some of the tank with the grill installed on the top, but it didn't help. The tank was targeted by the Ukrainian FPV drone, it lost control and went to one of the columns on this highway. The tank crew has evacuated from the place, mostly. By the way, the full video and many more information you may check out on my personal Telegram channel. The link is available in the video description just below. It is for free, so please join my Telegram group. Let's go for the military map. I'll show you where it happened. So the road there was quite curved. It means that it's the only place where it happened. The tank was targeted very close to this small river. It means that our drones are operating far behind the front lines. Actually, I think that they are controlling the part of Aleshki. Russia is in a deep problem with that. But still, Ukrainian groups are unable to move forward to try to get Aleshki under control because of the lack of the resources. To get more resources, we need the pantheon bridges across the Dnieper River, and it's not possible to do it because Russia will just target them. Remember, I told you about quite a strange deal between Germany and Poland. Germany tried to build the maintenance facility in Poland. However, the German side said that Poland rose the price for the Leopard 2 tanks repairing. And today this deal was cancelled. Germany will look for other variants for Ukrainian tanks to be repaired. The good news are also coming from Klishivka. Ukrainian army started their advancement towards the place. Now the Ukrainian forces are striking the Russian spots using artillery and mortars. So soon we're gonna go there with vehicles and infantry. It's much easier to target Klishivka now because we took the very important heights around and Klishivka is lower, much lower than the ground level in this area. So we have the video confirmation from the drone, it means that our forces will take Klishivka very soon. Again, Russia tried to get some ground in Avdivka, but failed with their attempt. This time they sent some of the BTRs to that area, infantry vehicles, but all of those were targeted by the Ukrainian tow missiles. Wow, the Russian army lost one more general. His name is Ivan Popov. He hasn't lost his life, however, but was dismissed by the higher Russian military command because he actually said the truth about the supplies of the Russian army. He said that there is no counter-artillery job from the Russian army, there is no proper military intelligence, and that's why the offending Russian forces are usually get fully destroyed. Again, he says about the issues with the Russian supplies and also he asked the military command to give this information directly to Putin. Instead, the Russian military command just dismissed him from his position. Now this general, Ivan Popov, is waiting for his next destiny, he says. I checked out the information from the Russian military bloggers and from what I may say that this general was well respected by the Russian soldiers. It is a great sign that the competent Russian commanders are not in favor of the high military Russian command. It's awesome. I got the letter from Popov himself. 
Our army was able to stop the Ukrainian counteroffensive, but we got the strike from behind. The betrayal of our own commanders just decapitated the Russian army in the most hard moment. By the way, we uh, by the way, Viktor Orban also recorded the video today how he attended the NATO summit and he asked not to donate any weaponry to Ukraine. Interesting, that's the only country in European Union with that policy. From what I understood, even Serbia donated weaponry to Ukraine. So yeah, I'm personally out of words to describe the current government of Hungary. Hungarians are great guys, but their government is just going to the wrong direction, but it's just my perspective. I could be wrong, but I think that I'm right. Again, Russia launched their attacks on Ukraine. We have the air strains in the vast majority of Ukrainian regions. Air defense is working right now, so hopefully all of the missiles and drones will be shut down. So the military health for Ukraine really matters. My friends, don't forget to press the like to this video and also check out my personal link in the video description just below where you can get the Atlas VPN with a huge discount. It is the best VPN service out there on my personal opinion. I wish you all a peaceful sky wherever you are and have a great time.